Hey guys, so we are live on Facebook and on Instagram. It is Tuesday and every Tuesday we are live at 3 to talk about entrepreneurial concepts, business questions, anything you want to know as an entrepreneur. And today we're going to talk a bit about goals and why you need to have big dreams but why you should also not feel the pressure to have big dreams that pressures you in your life and that you feel you have to achieve this massive thing that society or your family or friends expect from you. So we're going to talk a bit about that today uh, on the live session. If you have any entrepreneurial questions, send them through throughout the live session and I will try and uh, to answer them live and we can talk about them on the live session right here. But first, a few announcements. Um, there's a few upcoming events. Uh, we're going to talk at a Rockwood Theatre on the 16th of November at a business talk. I'm, I'm going to be the keynote speaker. They're going to ask me a few questions about my journey. I'm going to answer it. So if you're keen on that, to hear my story, to ask some questions, it's going to be a panel discussion with me. Uh, check out my Facebook page to see uh, the event for the 16th of November. So, Pierre, thanks for joining in on a live session. Let's dig right into it. When I was real small, on my 10th birthday, I wanted a bike, right? I wanted an awesome bike. And when I got to the store, I saw an awesome bike that I wanted. Unfortunately, uh, my dad couldn't buy me that bike and we couldn't afford that bike as a family. So I had to take a, a cheaper bike. I had to take the entry level version of that bike and when I was 10 years old that is where my first dream started I wanted to be able to buy any bike that I want that was my goal that was my dream just to be able to buy any bike that I want then when I started little businesses I read books I, I, my businesses were profitable they were successful and I was able to buy any bike that I want uh, then I got to high school and um, I saw my dad working really hard, going uh, to work when it was still dark in the mornings, coming home late at night when it was already dark, working super hard just to take care of our family. And I decided that I don't think that is how I should live life or want to live life. So then my goal changed from being able to have any bike that I want to becoming financially independent. So then I started reading more books, started growing my businesses even more, um, started going into property. So I bought my first property. And then as soon as I started buying more properties and eventually started generating a good income and uh, were able to become financially independent at that stage, I then quit my job as an industrial engineer and became a full-time entrepreneur. But then my goal changed again. Then it changed to, hey, I need to teach this to the rest of South Africa. I take this responsibility to teach the correct financial tools and principles to the rest of South Africa, because now my goal is to change the way South Africans think about wealth creation and how to make money. So throughout my journey, my goals have changed regularly. And I think that there's a lot of pressure on us from society, parents, teachers, whoever, that we need to have these massive goals and that we need to achieve something like saving penguins in Antarctica or, you know, saving uh, something or, you know, this altruistic massive goals. And I think there's a lot of pressure on us to have the goal like that. But it doesn't have to be like that. It can be to only be able to buy any bike that you want. Um, Pierre, Dumas, Ace, Berger, JC, Aisel, thank you so much for joining on the live session. Tell me a bit about your goals. What is your goal and what do you think? Um, is it necessary that we should have, um, that we should feel pressure to perform according to your family and friends and society? Or can you decide your own goals for your life and what you want to achieve? I want to hear your thoughts on the live session. Comment in the live session below. Tell me what you think is necessary. Uh, should we conform to all of these big massive goals? 
because uh, what I found um, in my life, in my journey, is that as you go through these goals, as you go through these different phases in your life, you develop each time. So as soon as I was able to buy that bike that I wanted, I learned a lot of business skills. I learned how business works. So then I was able, I was at a better position to understand how I could become financially independent, to understand the business basics and understand what is possible and what is not and how that would work. And then when I became financially independent and I got all of those things under the knee, I was again in a better position to teach these concepts to other people. So I believe that as you go through life, if you start with small goals, right, um, that you set for yourself, that you want, right, not what society puts on you or parents or teachers put on you, what you want for your life, then as you go through that, you grow into the person that will be able to reach your next goal. I'm not saying you should set small goals and small expectations for yourself. Go big for yourself, but don't conform to what society wants you to achieve. Uh, Terence, thank you so much for joining the live session. JC is saying, I feel it is much easier and motivating to achieve your own goals than to try and achieve the goals that the ones around you wants to achieve. JC, so true. Guys, on the live session, what's your goal? Do you think you should chase your own goals or do you think that there's some merit in other people setting massive expectation and goals that might be pushing you uh, harder? What do you think about this? Is it positive? Is it negative? Share your thoughts on the live session. Like JC said, he thinks that it's better to achieve your own goals. And I totally agree with that. You see, the thing is, when you set your own goals, when you have that dream, in the beginning of this live session, I told a bit about my story and my personal goals. And with all of those goals, I had an emotional attachment. I had an emotional passion. Um, when I wanted that bike, I couldn't get the bike, right, that I wanted. So there was a feeling inside of me there was a very deep emotional feeling. And that is what drove me to say, hey, I want to buy any bike that I want. And there's an emotional connection to that goal. So then I'm much more motivated to achieve it. When I saw my dad coming home late at night, leaving early, there was an emotional attachment to that. Um, I could see how hard he was working. I could see what influence it had on our family and his life and my life. So there was an emotional connection and therefore my motivation to achieve that goal was way, way more. Okay. Uh, similarly with my third goal, I, I, I saw people, I was telling people about my, my uh, properties, about my businesses and I could see in their eyes when they were looking at me, they were telling me, Albert, oh, if I knew these things 10 years ago my life would have been completely different. And I felt an emotional connection there. I felt, hey, I need to tell people these things. How to become a millionaire at 22, how to make money, how to create wealth. Because if I can do that, it can change these people's lives in the future. So there's an emotional connection. And then I had the goal to write the book, How to Become a Millionaire at 22, to teach the right financial concepts. So if you choose your own goals, if you have an emotional connection to that goal, you would be much more motivated to actually also achieve it. Because every day you wake up, you look at that goal and you can feel the emotion. You can feel the passion that you have to achieve that goal. Whereas if someone else sets a goal for you, it's society, your parents, whoever, then you don't have that connection. Uh, Peter is saying, I've recently broke away from the normal family expectations and started my own business, which is my personal goal. And it is awesome. And yes, I think it is important for your own success. Uh, very true, Peter. I think if, if you have that own goals in your life, uh, it, it will drive you to create the success that you want. Remember, a lot of people ask me, Albert, what is wealth? 
When are you rich? When are you wealthy? What is success? How do you measure success? And a lot of people measure it by a number. 1 million rand, 2 million rand, 10 million rand, 100 million rand, a billion rand, right? They measure success in terms of a number or achievement. I need a doctorate. I need a degree. I need you know, some kind of achievement or number in, in which they measure success. And I think you measure success by achieving your own personal goals, what you want to do and what you want to become. On the live session, we have Peter, uh, Peter Eisberger, JC Eisel, Teres, um, Nels, and Jason, uh, Jonathan. Guys, what do you think about rather setting your own goals, achieving your own goals, or other people setting goals for you, like society, parents? And then how do you define success? Post in the comments on the live session right now, what is your definition of success? I think success is when you achieve the goals you've set for yourself. If you want to be Elon Musk and you want to go to Mars, you're gonna to have to have a few billion to fund that project, right? If you want to go to Mars, your goal is to get a few billion dollars to fund that. So then you will have a different measure of success. If you want to go to Paris, your bill is going to be a lot less, right? If you want to fly to Paris, go see the Eiffel Tower, or whatever, then that is your goal. And then you can measure your success by that. And if you want to go to Cape Town, there's a different amount that you need to budget for, that you need to focus on, a different goal, right? And I believe that the person that wants to go to Cape Town, the person that wants to go to Paris, and the person that wants to go to Mars, if each of them achieve that goal for themselves, they are equally successful in my mind. Because we all come from different places and we all have different goals. And I think we should go for that. Guys, if you like this on the live session, send the shop right now on the live session. If I'm going in the right direction and if you agree and please share what is your definition of success. I want to hear what you're saying. If Terence is saying, I agree. Passion, motivation, and drive will be much more when chasing your own goals. Yeah, so we said, if you're chasing your own goal, you have an emotional connection with that. And I want you to go back and look at your goals. Do you have an emotional connection with your goals? Why are you chasing them? Why are those dreams your dreams? Um, there should be some kind of passion, emotional connection, drive behind the reason why you're doing what you're doing and Jonathan is saying I agree what you've said a lot of people uh, Dominique, Nels, Jonathan, Jason, uh, Ricardo guys sending shop on the live session guys awesome 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 so the point I want to bring across today is that we should not feel pressure to perform according to society people other people your parents teachers expectations and goals that they set for you, right? You shouldn't feel that pressure. You shouldn't, shouldn't feel that anxiety. And you should set your own goals and your own goals will change as you progress through life. I told a bit of my story in terms of how my goals change through life. If you're just joining in right now, you can check it in, in the beginning and at the live session. And I think that we all have our own measure of success. And the reason why I wrote the book in the first place, How to Become a Millionaire 22, is to enable the person reading it to achieve their dreams, to achieve their goals, to become the person they want to become. So by enabling yourself to fund your own dream, to fund your own journey, and to fund your own goals. And I think that's so important that you focus on that rather than experiencing anxiety from other people that they force on you. On the live session we have Pierre, Peter, uh, Iceberger, JC, Terence, Nald, um, Jason, Jonathan, uh, Dominique, Ricardo, Esal de Vet, and Still Salon guys. Thank you so much for joining in on the live session. We talked a bit about goal setting, uh, why is it important to have an emotional connection to your own goals? And what is your definition about success? And I shared some of my thoughts 
and uh, feelings on that. Guys, if you have any entrepreneurial questions, business questions, send them through on the live session. We can talk about it. A lot of guys sharing their success definitions and goals. And that is all for this week, guys. See you again next week, Tuesday, on the live session. If you have any questions, you can send them through throughout the week. And then keep touch on my social media platforms. Check out my Instagram, Facebook. I have a lot of podcasts and videos on YouTube and Iona FM for some more content. If this is what you like. And then keep track of the events in the future on my social media pages. Guys, have a great, successful entrepreneurial week. See you again next week, Tuesday, on the live session at 3. We have Terence saying, I agree, passion, motivation will be much more in chasing your own goals. Jonathan is saying, I agree what you said. Nal, Dominique, Jason, Ricardo, everyone, Peter sending shop. Jason saying, cheers. Thanks, Albert. With the arm. Jonathan is saying, thank you. We have a question on Facebook. Inspiration man, how did our dude yes or class so far in Ilieva from Gerard David Ungerer? Thank you so much, Gerard David Ungerer. Uh, guys, see you again next week. Logging off the live session.